What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trey Love. You know what I'm saying? We back at the game with another video. So today we got we got this cool little R&B joint. You know what I'm saying? It's a female song. My first uh, mix I've done with a female R&B artist. You know what I'm saying? Shit came out great. It's like no, I'm just joking. But um, so it's like some Janae Aiko, Summer Walker, uh, and the other girls that be singing songs. So um, yeah, that's what we got. I'm finna play it real quick. And then we're gonna get into the tutorial. You have one unheard message. Hey, that shit a motherfucking vibe, no cap. And hey, nah, I'm just joking. Okay, so uh first things first, you know what I'm saying? We start off with the lead vocals. Uh well actually first things first, you wanna get your key in the BPM. So we did that and then we're gonna start off with the lead vocal. Now she's a you know what I'm saying pretty good singer, so we don't really need the auto-tune turned up too much, but we do got the auto-tune uh just kind of apparent and and just helping with the keys and shit, keeping the keys uh correct. So we got a deductive EQ, we got a cut around 128. Um, I got a small little deduction around 297. Just taking out some of the nasally sounds and then I'm doing my sweeps throughout the whole range, uh, getting the other sounds out. So really what I'm doing is I'm, I'm dragging up, creating a little bend and then just listening for all the, the extra crazy high frequencies. And then down here I'm listening for the nasally sounds. So this is what it sounds like though. So then you just take it down a little bit around five to seven usually good um we got an additive eq now for the additive eq uh all i'm doing is basically boosting the mid-range and then boosting the high range so we got 9100 we got nine decibels uh then we got a compressor um same old same old with the compression we got the threshold at the low middle peak ratio on eight and then all this on auto and this is what it looks like though <laughs> So we got it like right here just you know what I'm saying to kind of keep everything compact and uh together and shit like that. Um we got DSer, got it on 32. I could even probably bring that down just a little bit. Other than that, we have the lead vocals right into a delay track and delay, you know what I'm saying? We got it on four count, uh cut around like 75%. Got the volume feedback on 25%, got it on ping pong, and then the actual volume uh, around like 30 or 40. And just pan to the left a little bit. But uh, the CLA effects, we got the filter Vox 1. Uh, didn't really do too much with it. These are the settings. But uh, I also added a fruity chorus effect on the delay. And, and that really is just to give us, you know what I'm saying, a cool little sound. <laughs> you wanted to play this game got me thinking all of you are the same Ooh. see what i'm saying i'm so i'm playing with the uh the delays i created an automation clip to create an autom automation clip all i did was you know what i'm saying went to the lead vocals i routed it to the delay track which is uh, insert six um down here i'm gonna right click create automation clip and then uh, i'm listening through uh, usually I'll just kind of like play it with the beat without the beat kind of listen through and, and make adjustments like that But uh, I'm listening for uh, Where I want the delays to hit and how I want it to hit type shit. So hey, I know that you wanted to play this game. So mainly I want to have the ends of the of the words 
and then sometimes I kind of play with it and get like some beginnings and, and just switch it up and shit. But I'm cra I'm like creating a, a flow with it. You know what I'm saying? Push down. Basically, so I'm cutting it. The part that I want to do, I'm making it unique. A sample. Double click on it. Right click. Edit. I'm doing Alt Left. Add and reverb, make sure it's flooded, except alt left again to flip it back. I'm trimming it right here, dragging it up in there. And then when I drag it in, what I'm looking for is like a certain spot to where um I can kind of count where I wanted to like start from. Does that make sense? Like so right here I'm kind of hitting it on the uh on this little beat right here. But uh, it sounds you know what I'm saying you could you could line it up however you want you can line it up with the words you can line it up with the kicks you can line it up with the uh the actual fucking fucking bars and shit right here whatever these are called the guys um yeah so you can do a lot of shit with that but then the next thing you know what I'm saying we got beyond that is uh we got the ad libs and doubles and like shit like that so she's got a few like doubles on the on the hook and it sounds pretty cool. So look, this is what it sounds like. So, um, yeah, she's got some doubles. Uh, these are like the regular singing doubles. And then she's got some uh, lower octave singing vocals over here. Um, so we just got these pants to the left and the right. There's two of them. And they're pretty much just like, you know what I'm saying, they're like actual doubles. So, uh, all I'm doing is kind of creating a little bit of difference between uh, the lead vocals and this. And then the lead, I mean, the this left one and then the right one. Does that make sense? So, for instance, what I did for for this left one, uh, pretty much got the same old, same old EQ. But uh, I'm thinking I took some more low end out. Uh, you know what I'm saying, we got the highs, boosted a little bit the highs. Demo compression. Sound good eyes are off. Um, and then yeah, so really that's all I got. You know what I'm saying? Just a, a pretty much a just regular vocal. Uh turn down, pan to the left. EQ'd a little bit, boosted some of the highs, took a little bit of lows out. Uh not really doing too much though. So. Um then it's just turn down. We got the right one, pretty much the same thing. Got the low end. The highs, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Um, and like, I, and all this stuff is related to the reverb. I'm gonna go again to the reverb in a little bit, but um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then on this next part right here, so we have these, uh, these, these, I guess, lower octave, uh, doubles. What I'm doing here is got a sound goodizer, pretty panomatic, and then we just got a, a pan slightly to the left and to the right. Then on the right one, you know what I'm saying, same old, it's pretty much the same thing. Looks like on this one, we got a little boost on the uh, on the EQ down here. Ad lib type of thing going on. Drinking my pain, my pain away. So really, with this one is uh, same old, same old, you know what I'm saying, sound goodizer. We got a stereo enhancer just to give it some more width. Uh, as it says, as it says, it says bottom wide ad lib. So these are just like another little double ad lib type of thing, and they're just wider, um, just to give it some more body type shit. So uh, another thing we did was uh, I added some beat stops. So that's what it sounds like. Hey, so tell me, baby, if you don't care, but I want you to know that I'm still here. It doesn't really matter. I'll wait around for you. I'll stay around for you. Just tell me you want me to.
See, you can really hear the uh, the lower octave vocals right here, especially. Okay, yeah, but like I said, that's pretty much it. Uh, then we got, you know, what I'm saying the master track. Same old, same old master track. Taking out some of the low end, boosting some of the highs, and fab filter uh, limiter, just boosting it a little bit, just to have it uh, raised enough. You know what I'm saying? Competing with other mixes and shit. But uh, it's your boy Trey Love. Thank y'all for watching once again. Um, shit, go ahead, comment down below. What y'all fuck with, what y'all want to see. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's your boy Trey Love. Peace.